Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the SH figure. It's Son Goku Kaioken 18,000, is it 18,000? I can't tell, it's sideways. Power level. This is the version that you can find at, I'm told, Walmart and Target. I wouldn't know because my stores don't carry anything worthwhile in within like an hour of where I live. There's just nothing available. Luckily, my buddy Alfonso hooked me up at cost, so big thanks to him for this review and many other things he's helped me with. Uh, he's my go-to guy. Uh, but I don't have anything around here ever. Anyway, I don't know where you can find them for sure personally, but I'm pretty sure it's Target and Walmart. Not online anywhere, just in stores. And what this is is basically a reissue uh, with different color scheme. You know, slightly different version, cheaper version of the uh, previous Kaioken. And since I'm moving, I don't have it on hand to show you, but I'll do side by side so you get an idea. And I'll also put the video up there in the corner so you can check. But uh, it's it's a repaint, mostly. And I think it looks great. So there's some stuff to talk about. This isn't going to be a full on review because it is just a reissue for the most part. But I'm going to get through everything you guys need to know. So let's go ahead and get them off the stand and take a closer look. Okay, before we get into the figure, let's get into my package. I do think this is a nice package, very standard, but it's good. I love the pose on the front. Nice big window, red background. I don't know, let me know. Let's do a mini question of the day. If you guys are interested in packaging, do you like it when the packaging is almost the same color as the character, or do you like more contrast? I could take it either way. It depends really on the on the release. I don't think this one looked too bad, though I think more contrast might be nice, like a black background or something like that. But either way, decent packaging, pretty much standard fare uh, for SH Figure Arts. Nothing too crazy, but they do have some solid packaging. All right, that's that. Let's get into the nitty gritty, and we'll do the other question of the day, the real one right now. You might have to come back to answer it, but which version of Goku of this Goku do you like more? Do you like the previous one with the metallic paint or do you like this one more? I'm actually kind of inclined, though I do appreciate the effort and the quality of the paint job on the other one. I think I like the way this one looks more. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm like 98% leaning in favor of this new one, which is a good thing for those of you who agree with me because it's relatively easy to come by. Okay, so we don't need to do heights and everything like that. I'll do a quick one just in case, but you should check out the other review for the full on details. There you go. All right, standard Goku. Here's what he looks like in terms of quality of paint job. It's a pretty darn good one. It looks really nice. I love the way they did the face. Looks really, really good. It's nothing elaborate, but what's there is clean throughout. It's pretty solid. I'm not sure that there's any shading. I don't think there's any but it kind of feels like it's painted and not bare plastic. So I'm not exactly positive what's going on here for like the, the main clothes, but it's clean. It looks nice. It's one of their cleaner looking releases. The logos look nice and sharp. No problems there. Love the skin tone. It has just enough of that reddish hue to it to make it look right. I like it. I like it a whole bunch. So that's what it looks like generally. And it doesn't feel loose or anything like that. It, it, it's a nice quality release. I haven't noticed any issues with the articulation at all. So you won't have any trouble with that if you're going for this one instead uh, of the other one. So that's a good thing. Now, as far as what it comes with, you do get the two heads. You get the up hair and then the normal hair. So that's nice. You have those two options there. And then for faces, it is a basic release. You only get three faces. You get the stern one that comes on him in the package with the up hair. Then you get the one with the teeth gritted and the eyes looking off to the side that comes on the... Uh, the normal hair and of course the faces are interchangeable and then you do get the yelling head and i think they all look great or yelling face uh the paint jobs are super clean slightly different than the previous release but they are nice it's some of their better work they've definitely been getting better and better at faces so i like that a whole bunch and then for hands you get the two fist hands that come on them in the package uh and then two different sets of style post hands that's it it is a very basic release but it's a pretty darn good looking one. And I think they're like 35 bucks. I don't remember now because I had to pay for shipping. So I don't remember what the actual cost of this guy is. It's something like that. It's around 30, 35 bucks, I think at the store. So if you can grab one of these and you're collecting this line, shoot for 35 bucks, you can't go wrong. I mean, we're paying damn near 30 bucks for Marvel Legends these days to get a solid SH figure arts, though not elaborate. It's a good release. And Kaioken's a classic Goku look, like you can't go wrong with this. It's a definite pickup if you ask me. I'm not gonna do a rating because it is just essentially a reissue, a repaint reissue, but it's a good one. I like it. And it might even be, like I said, I think it might be nicer looking than the previous one. 
mean, that's personal preference, but this is a good one. I like it. So that's it. We don't need to talk any more about it. Just wanted to give you guys a heads up and uh, hopefully I have inserted the side by side at some point throughout this review so you guys could see them. But if not, that other review is up there. Oh, and a quick side note, uh, my link for Big Bad Toy Store has changed. Some of you have been messaging me saying, hey, your link is dead. The old one is. The newer videos have the new link and you can use that link. Uh, so you can just like add it to your bookmarks or whatever. It's the one with the plus at the end. That's the one that works correctly. The previous one doesn't work anymore. All right, so if you don't see a plus at the end of my Big Bad Toy Store link, it is the incorrect one. You want to use the one with the plus. Okay, but there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about this updated slash different version in the comment section below, and we'll talk down there. But that's it from me. So uh, if you haven't subscribed, you might want to. I have new videos relatively regularly. <laughs> right now, they're not regular enough. But we will get back to doing videos every day but Wednesday, hopefully very soon. And I do have thousands of videos already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. And in the meantime... Keep collecting.